Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths. A really quick and easy way of how to add a series of single digit numbers by using the complements to 10 or grouping to 10 method. So let's take a look. Okay, so how quickly can you add this following string of numbers? I'll give you around 5 to 7 seconds to do that. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. Did you get 45? Well done if you did, but if not, don't worry. I'm going to break down exactly how we can do this. Okay, so the secret to adding a series of single digit numbers is by looking for the complements to 10. In other words, group the numbers together that add up to make 10. And this we can do by mentally organizing the numbers so that they add up to make 10 really quickly. So if we start with the complements, Okay, so what are complements? If we make a list of numbers from 1 to 5, so we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, starting from the top, the complement to 1 is 9, since 1 complements or adds with 9 to make 10. Similarly, the complement to 2 is 8, since 2 complements with 8 to make 10. And likewise, 3 complements with 7 to make 10, 4 complements with 6 to make 10, and 5 complements with 5 to make 10. So whenever we are presented with a string of numbers that we need to add, what we do is we look for the numbers that complement to 10 first, and then we continue adding the rest of them afterwards. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Let's consider these three numbers, 3, 5, and 7. Let's add them together. Okay, so the tendency normally is to add as we go along. So we normally add 3 plus 5, which is 8. Then we add 7, which gives us 15. Now to use this method, what we normally do is we look for the complements first. So we, you notice that 3 complements with 7 to make 10, so that's 10 straight away. Then we add the 5 to make 15, and there we go. Now this might seem very straightforward for smaller strings of numbers, but for longer strings, adding as you go along might take a bit longer. So this is where complements makes things a lot easier. Let's take a look at another example. Let's make it an extra digit longer. So we've got 1, 4, 2, and 6. Okay, so what we do first is we look for the complement. So 4 complements with 6 to make 10, so that's 10 there. Then we add the 2, that's 12, add the 1, it's 13. And so there we go. Let's take a look at another example. So we've got 6, 8, 7, 3, and 4. Okay, so let's start off by looking at the complement. So the complement of 6 is 4, that makes 10. Then the complement of 7 is 3, that makes another 10. So there's 20. And then we've got that 8 left over, so that's 28. See how easy it is? We still need to be able to add numbers as normal. This method just better organizes them. Okay, so how about we take a bigger string of numbers? So let's consider the following. So we've got 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 8 plus 2. Okay, so let's start by grouping all the complements to 10. So we've got 2 and 8, that's 1. We've got 3 and 7, that's 2. So there's two complements there. So that's 20. And then adding the 9 is 29. Adding the 2 makes 31. So there we go. Let's try another string of numbers. Let's make it slightly bigger. So we've got 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and 3. All right, so let's start by complementing. So the 6 complements with the 4, that's 10. The 7 complements with the 3, that's another 10. So we've got 20 there. Then we've got 2 and 1 and 3, that makes 6, so the total is 26. So how about we consider a string of 11 numbers this time. So we've got 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 1 and 3. So let's look at the easy numbers that complement together first. 2 and 8, that's 10. Then we've got 4 and 6, that's another 10. Then we've got 7 and 3, that's another 10. Then we've got 9 and 1, that's another 10. So that's 4 tens, that's 40. So then we add the 5, 45. Add the 4, 49. Add the 3, it's 52. See, it can be that easy. It can be that quick. Okay, so let's go back to the question that we had in the beginning. So if we see now, we look for the complements. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. And that's how easy it is. Now what we can do, we can extend this to double digit numbers as well, which we'll cover in the next video. Let me know how well you did with this in the comments below. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those. But if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.